Hi, welcome to Baking with Evolution. I'm Sayla Sanchez and I'm a junior in creative writing. I am back with a vengeance in the form of a new and original recipe. I call them sinfully delicious citrus rolls. I think you will like them. So this is just a basic overview of everything that you're gonna need for the recipe. We'll go into specifics and exact measurements as it goes on, but you're gonna technically be making three things in this recipe. So that is the frosting, um, the filling, and the dough itself. The dough will be first. Uh, you're also gonna want a stand mixer if you have one. And specifically, we're gonna be using the dough hook. So uh, without further ado, let's get this ball rolling. We're gonna start by activating the yeast. Pour one half cup of warm, keyword warm, water into a large bowl, then one teaspoon of sugar. Give it a quick stir so the sugar can have a chance to start dissolving. Next, take a packet of active dry yeast, or about two and a quarter teaspoons, and pour it in. Give this a quick stir as well. I'm gonna cover it and let it wait for five minutes to activate. Oh, glory be, the yeast has been appeased. Uh, you can tell when it's all foamy like that. Now we can add the rest of our dough ingredients and get this baby going. So as you can see, I have placed the yeast um, into the sand mixer and I'm going to start adding my other ingredients. So right here we have a teaspoon of salt, we have a third of a cup of sugar, and that goes. We have some butter um, right here. I softened it, I need a spatula, so I'll be right back. Um, I have the spatula, uh, just so I can put this in because I softened the butter a little bit, not to the point of melting, only for about 15, 20 seconds, just so it um, breaks apart a little easier. Um, then next we're going to want to add the two eggs. And then last but not least, we have the stars of the show. Um, this is half of my orange juiced and um, this icky goopy stuff is orange zest. So I basically flayed the orange on a grater like this one. And I'm only gonna use about half and we're gonna use the rest for the frosting. Just scoop it in. And then we're gonna turn it on to number two speed and uh, let it mix around a little before adding the flour. So um, I stopped the stand mixer right now because um, I'm gonna start adding the flour. You can see the butter is not completely broken apart yet, but that's okay because um, as I add more flour, it's gonna start breaking out more. Um, you can see specifically I'm using bread flour um, or unbleached flour. I find that, that that type best works for this recipe. So I'm just gonna put in uh, some, some flour there. I typically start with uh, two and a half cups and then I just start adding by half or quarter cups. Typically I find that the most sufficient amount of flour for this recipe is three and a half cups. So um, as you can see, I already added one and I'm gonna add the rest and just keep going until the dough is the right consistency. Notice how I'm scraping down the sides with the spatula. This will help to um, make sure that all the flour is mixed in. It's, uh, as you can see, it's kind of weighing the, the mixer down, but um, it's the right consistency to be needed now. It slides right off the hook. Um, you can see it barely sticks to my hand. I can put my entire hand on it and it'll, um, it, it won't stick. And uh, when I tap it, it sort of kind of like does a little, it kind of like springs back, you know? You could just uh, let it knead in the mixer on two speed for six to seven minutes, or you could do what I like to do. So what I like to do is uh, take your big ball of dough and plop that bad boy onto a lightly floured surface to knead by hand for six to seven minutes. 
it doesn't really make much of a difference whether you use the mixer or your hands, but I don't know, I find hand kneading to be, hand kneading to be very therapeutic. Okay, now that you've successfully kneaded your dough, you're going to take, you're going to take it and you're going to put it uh, back into this bowl and we're going to tuck it in real good and we're going to let it rise for about 30 minutes, uh, 15 if you're lazy. So now we're, now while we're waiting for the dough to rise, we're going to start making the filling, which is pretty simple, just combining spices together. So we've got a half a cup of brown sugar and it goes and a tablespoon and a half of ground cinnamon. Um, we're gonna use a spoon to level it in. And a teaspoon each of uh, ground nutmeg and ground ginger, which uh, both complement really well with cinnamon and orange. So this is what the finished filling looks like. As you can see, it's a nice even color. All right, so time is up. Um, here's the dough. Um, you can see it's risen just a little bit. Um, you can smell it, it, it's really good. It smells like oranges. Uh, here it is. As you can see, I've refloured my lightly floured surface. Plop. Um, and now we're gonna take a rolling pin and we're gonna start, oh, we're gonna start rolling the dough out and we're gonna try to make um, as smooth and even of a rectangle that we can. It might help uh, so that the dough doesn't flip up like you saw earlier um, to put a little bit of flour on the surface and the, the pin itself. Um, I did that and it helped a lot. So it's not perfect, but I made a rectangle as best I could. Um, it's okay if yours is not perfect either. But now we're going to add the butter. I softened it um, again like I did with the dough just to make it um, easier to spread. Make sure it's evenly spread across the entirety of the, the dough um, plateau. I did not mean for that to rhyme. That was completely unscripted. Um, but yeah, just make sure it's even. So now we're gonna take our cinnamon mixture, our cinnamon mixture, if you will, and we're going to make it rain. Um, so now it's time to put the roll into sinfully delicious citrus rolls. So uh, very gently and very tightly, you're gonna take up the edges of the dough plateau and just roll it. Um, Self-explanatory. Um, just make sure it's as even as possible, as tight as possible, um, just so they look as good as they possibly can um, and you're gonna make a little cinnamon snake so here's our little cinnamon snake it's so long it's so cute it's the cutest thing you've ever seen right that's too bad because now you're gonna cut your cinnamon snake into two and you're gonna cut your twos into sixes um, to have a dozen little cinnamon swirlies that are going to become our beautiful, sinfully delicious citrus rolls. You can round them out again with your hands and then you're going to put them onto your, your jelly roll dish. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Cover them and wait for them to rise one last time while you also preheat the oven for 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we take the cloth off, uh, we can see that they rose a little bit. Um, they are a little uneven, I apologize for that. Um, but it's time to put them in the oven. Finally! So I'm gonna open this up, be very careful. It's very hot. I mean, obviously, you should know that. Um, and in they go. And 
we are going to set a timer for exactly 14 minutes. They are going to stay in there. And in the meanwhile, we're gonna start the frosting. For our frosting, it's gonna be another simple combination of ingredients. So we have the remainder of our orange zest. So in that goes, as well as the rest of our juice. So that's the other half of the orange. We have four ounces of cream cheese. Um, in that goes. We have a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. And um, one and a half tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And then, uh, last but not least, we have two cups of confectioner sugar. So now you're gonna take a spatula and kind of just like fold it in, just like this. All right, so uh, 14 minutes has passed and now it's time to take them out. Oh my gosh. Look at them, look at them. Look how gorgeous they are. And they smell wonderful. So we're gonna let these beauties rest for about 10 minutes before putting the frosting on. Be right back. Yeah, that's good. Um, it's, uh, it's puffy, the dough is nice and, and soft, and the inside is just super flavorful. The, the filling, it uh, complements really well with the orange juice and the orange zest. And um, I think that I did a pretty good job. Um, if you wanna try this out, it's in the March edition of Evolution. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you when I see you.